Hello ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between, and welcome to an introduction on the Blue-Eyed Black Dragon. And yes, that is a Yu-Gi-Oh reference, because I still play the Game Boy Advance game on my phone, the, uh, the Eternal Duelist Soul, as I will always have. Um, anyway, the I have new stuff, as you can see, this is now mounted on a nice piece of wood. That is actually really nice to the touch. It's um, basically a slab of plywood with uh, walnut brown varnish, which has then been cut to size, and all of the appropriate holes for the bits and pieces have been cut out. So I can just stick my finger all the way in through there without getting any worries. I probably shouldn't have done that. It essentially becomes a thermal take P5 without the glass in front of it, so I can tap on the bits. Um, well, if I wanted to break it, I could tap on the bits. Uh, the main reason for doing this is because, where is it? This thing, this thing, decided to uh, not anymore, and it took out everything. So in buying this, I went and just bought everything I needed to buy at once. So at the top here, ow, <laughs> if I move this across slightly, there we go, that's better. I have the Cooler Master CD-on. 250, 240 even, uh, P, the radiator, which has its stock fans on it. Uh, the main reason I'm doing this is because they are PWM fans, and the PWM fans can run a lot slower than the DC fans, which I used to have on there, but because there's no case, there's no worry about the airflow, which means that they can run a lot slower. These are running at about 30% at the moment, which means they, they're really quiet. Like, over here... And the power supply is making more noise sort of deal. Um, on top of that, or beside that, we have the I.O. from a Cooler Master Lightbox 3. This is upside down. Otherwise, the ports, or the cables for each of these ports, would be sticking up the top. I know you can't see that there. If I do that, otherwise they'd be sticking out the top here, just as the way that they come up, and then have to loop back round. Uh, below that, we have the... Let me figure out these camera controls. There we go. It's the uh, Azus Z170P. The um, I think it's one of their lower range Z170, but it's the Z170. And the reason I got a Z170 is below this. Yeah, that. It's got a little bit of a wobble to it, but it's weighted at the back more. And the reason I've got that weight, uh, weight is because of the power supply. Uh, below that is a Z uh, Z170 and a Zeus. That was fucking. I'm doing really good at this one. A Intel. There we go. Got away from the AMD this time. Uh, Intel i7 6700K clocked at 4.9 gigahertz. Yes, I'm being annoying with that entirely, just because I wanted if someone ever was to see this 4.9 instead of five. <laughs> I don't know why, but that makes me really, like, enjoy the ability to do that, just so it's got that little tiny bit off. Uh, next to that, we have two sticks of four, making it eight gigs of a Vexia core, and running in dual channel, <coughs> with the LEDs, supposedly, if I turn these ones off, ta -da being in a random pulse, but basically it means either it's waving this way, it's waving that way, or it's matched. So you can see that one slightly starts up on the back one. That's basically what it does. And that runs at 2400 megahertz? 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 <laughs> Below that we have the, um, fans turned on, the, the sapphire. 240, they don't spin fast at all, I don't know why I'm scared. Uh, Sapphire 240, 270, uh, Nitro Plus Edition, which has the dual fans in the back plate, because there it's important. And that's running at its default, uh, 1260 megahertz, uh, with 1750 for the memory. And that, you know, it pushes enough. You know, you, you can see the FPS counter up in the top corner. I guess the top corner would be that one. No, it would be that one. Where would it be? Yes, that one. That one. Uh, normally we had FPS kind of down there. Just darkened off, wasn't I? And connecting that to the motherboard is the Cooler Master 250 connector. This, I believe, is from a Genome case. 
or designed for the genome case, which is a amazing looking case. If you've never seen it, the front of it is like a, got a double helix in it where the two tubes cross over and it's gotten built in water cooling solution, like full cooling, uh, full cooling loop in the case itself, which is one of the things that like, I want that, but I made this so it's better. <laughs> It's really not better. It's obnoxious because you can very easily like, oh, real quick, ow, my hand. That was kind of hot, sort of deal. Uh, next to it, the thermal take. I don't know if you can see it there, but uh, 650 watt. You can kind of see the bottom of it with the power coming in here, out here, so it spreads off that way and that way. And all the remaining is caught up behind this section here. Uh, reason being because otherwise getting all the cables for up here and in here would be a right pain in the ass. Uh, but yes, film will take 650 watt white power. I have the box up that way, but I can't be bothered looking at it. <laughs> so with that being the power, or the heart of the main operation, we now have the crucial 240 two gigabyte. I'm doing bad with numbers. 240 gigabyte uh, SSD for the boot drive and storing some of the games like uh, GTA 5 that have really long load times and a Western Digital Blue and a Hitachi something or another running in RAID 1. They're both 1 terabyte but the Western Digital is running at 7400 RPM and this is a uh, 5400 RPM which used to be a uh, external portable drive but this thing the connector for it doesn't work anymore i don't know why it just doesn't like any drives that you plug into it which is a shame because it was quite useful for transporting all your stuff around uh the leds which i turned off earlier which are now back on in a nice blue unfortunately there is a missing led which one of it? the green led has broken up here you may well be able to see if i put this like this Nah, can't. But there's a LED missing there. They are deep cool, 350 RGB. And they uh, have a little connector, or uh, controller rather, that's sitting up under here. And then it splits off into its ways. And they have, something like 16 colors? Uh, 15 colors. Seven, 16 if you count the uh, white. No, no, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19 colors if you count the white. And then it also has its fading through effect. But um, the, the this thing is held off, as you can see, by two of these uh, standoffs, which are made of the same wood with the same varnish on top of it. And uh, the Cooler Master one is actually... I can't get my finger under there. But there is actually a uh, uh, cutout behind it to allow for the airflow to go through. And that's held on by these. One of these, which I'm not going to undo because they're in quite tight. Uh, plated through the back with a then spacer placed underneath to allow for that room to come through. Otherwise it would be popping back and forth because the wood's not quite long enough to allow for that. Uh, each uh, plug has its own hole with the starters being at the bottom so they're being hidden away by the graphics card. There was some actual planning that went into this. I didn't just go, let's cut up a piece of wood for the sheer hell of it. I planned where all the holes were going to go and what length and they were all correct for this one over here which needs to be slightly bigger just because I didn't think about how much a uh, SATA drive would bend or how little the cord would bend but anyway thanks for joining me on this one I hope you have a nice morning a nice evening and a nice afternoon and the red eye the black dragon would like to say a uh, slight word for you now it's going to be kind of loud so you have to forgive me uh, if I can get this to work there we go this is a red eye black dragon signing off <laughs>